How's everybody doing? All right. My name is Noah Clare. I'm the uh, seventh the Bobcat backer board, the athletic board at Brookings. I work with sports, with uh, training kids, helping kids get recruited. Passion is football, um, but I love all kids. I've come to really grow and have a passion for uh, youth athletics here the last couple of years. And roughly a year ago, um, I'd seen uh, one of my good friends, uh, Pierre Desir, who had done his own camps, and I always loved what those camps did for their communities. When the camp idea came up, you know, and my dream was to have my grandma at this camp. Um, my grandma loved kids, and when she passed away, it was hard on me for a month or so. I was really angry at God. Um, why take her? Uh, she was my best friend, um, and the one person who really always had believed in me since I was little. And um, so. <clears throat> So then um, we marched forward, and, and I remember when I, I called Pierre one day, and I asked him, I said, hey, man, can you come to this camp? He told me yes, but I didn't think he was serious. Uh, there's no way Pierre's coming to South Dakota. Um, and it started to become really real. And it was at that point that, uh, that I uh, kind of went back to the drawing board, and, and I told our, our board of people that worked with me, Let's keep the main thing the main thing. Let's keep all the outside noise away from it. Uh, what's the point of the camp? To glorify Jesus and to, to pour back into kids and their community. Um, and that's something my grandma uh, always held really dear to her. I remember she would always tell me growing up, you know, just to be kind. She always said, be kind. She's a little southern old lady. She was slapping, be kind, be kind. Um, and that was this grandma. Um, okay. Uh, and it's hard to it's hard to describe, and even right now, as I think about it, it's 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 I don't want to seem over dramatic at all, but it's very hard to describe today um, what happened at the camp. As I took it all in, I remember just so many things went through my mind. Of you know, and this sounds really like corny, cinematic, but it's not. It's real. Um, years ago, the failures, and and then I think about my grandma, um, my mom and dad, my friends, and and it's funny. The, the number one takeaway, as I looked at everything. I thought of my friends, and I was like, I'm so proud to have friends. I felt very undeserving. My friends are just, with all the guys work in the camp, I'm the most undeserving person in the world, I feel like, sometimes. And I don't say that to me, it feel, feel sorry for me or anything, but, like, my friends are just A1. I mean, the heart, I mean, it's, it's just uh, special.
Um, today, I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly just a, a little bit about uh, struggle. The definition of struggle is to strive to achieve or attain something in the face of difficulty or resistance. For myself, I believe that through struggle you can achieve great things because with that struggle you can overcome certain obstacles. Early in my life I had a lot of struggles growing up, but I used what I learned to overcome my future obstacles. I know God got me and uh, I'm just thankful for the blessings and everything that he has taught me um, through the tough times because he doesn't give you anything that you can't handle. And I always felt like I had, to, I had to prove something wrong. I was like, dude, there's no way I'm not that different. I'm just different in terms of the way I love people. It's genuine, it's honest. And I think the word love is thrown around so loosely in society nowadays. Like, I love this, I love that, I love him, I love her. And I mean, and I, when you say love, love's an important word to me because it means something. You know, love carries weight and love, genuine, real love is, is hard to find. Genuine, real friends are hard to find. So when you get them, don't lose them. Um, that's why I, I love my friends. I have no problem saying that.